Hi guys, Mr. Tony T here. Uh, it's finally the 3rd of May, which means it's the first day of Modball. Um, I'm literally just finishing, sort of packing up. Um, got lots of uh, random bags and some suits and things like that to, to fit in. So hopefully it's all going to fit in the Porsche. Um, literally so, so excited now. It's, it's finally arrived. So going to pack the car up, go to Posh Wash, um, get a, a bit of detailing done and some protection on the outside. Then off to the Intercontinental at the O2 um, for stickering up the car. I'm going to film like loads of bits of this anyway. But anyway, let's get on the road. Cheers. So this has been quite a tiring sort of uh, afternoon. So we got the car cleaned and sort of sorted out and protected um, and then got it to the O2. So you park in the car park, you then go and sign in and they give you all your stickers. Um, there's video prior to this that's probably showing all that being put on. So that takes a good hour really to put on properly. Uh, I do envy a few people with little lotuses and things like that which have all these little vents and edges and it just, I, I mean it really didn't look fun putting those stickers on. But it's all done, car looks, uh, looks, looks good um, and that's it really. I'm absolutely shattered, so is this little one who's just completely passed out. But look down there. I don't know whether you can see that, but look. So I think there's about 70 cars and millions of pounds worth of supercars down there. There's Ferraris, Lamborghinis, uh, Porsches, Aston Martins, Lotus, Audis, uh, Rolls Royce, uh, a number of others as well, but you'll see them all in the video. Anyway, they're literally like just a sh load of cars down there. It's just going to be absolutely chaos. So we've just had a bite to eat. Really nice, really nice restaurant. Going to go down for the uh, sort of the welcome, um, welcoming from John Mobble and TGE. Uh, and then we're going to get to bed because we've got to get up at, I think, 6 a.m.? 6? Mm. Yeah. So 6 a.m. start. So it's going to be going to be a tough one. Um, but I've got loads of Red Bulls, so I'll be raring to go. Going to stick cameras over the car and really show you guys what this journey is all about uh, on the way to Blenheim Palace and then on to Edinburgh. Anyways, catch you later. Cheers.
Bis soll er meine Schieb sein? Ireland! What? Is it England? Yeah. Austria! Yeah. Yes! We have a team from Austria. Give them a round of applause, guys! Mr. TGE, guys! Chaos. Um, yeah, thanks very much for coming along. Uh, glad you all made it safely. Is there anyone that hasn't made it safely? Is there anyone who says anything on camera? Anyone that say that? I thought you were going to turn the McLaren and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, thanks very much for coming along. Uh, hopefully, you got your stickers on, okay? It took us a couple of hours. Okay, so the one downside of driving seven or eight hours is. Um, <clears throat> literally just got up is I don't know whether that's showing up anyway it's half five in the morning we need to be quick showered sorted and downstairs in uh, half an hour and then in about 45 50 minutes in the cars ready to go so I think a coffee is definitely in order um, but yeah it's exciting though I just need to wake up and work out how to use curtains. Um, but you can see all the cars down there ready to go. There's a few people that have started packing. Um, proper keen early birds. But there's the O2, Canary Wharf, and the cars that we will shortly be getting into and driving to Blenheim Palace and then up to Scotland. Anyway, I'm going to have a shower, have some breakfast, get a coffee in me, and um, crack on. Literally all the cars are on the start line now. Um, just had a quick little bit of breakfast. Um, as you can see, everyone's sort of raring to go. So I think it's just gonna descend into chaos pretty quickly. Um, it's a two hour drive approximately to Blenheim Palace, but I think some people will probably get there a little bit quicker. Anyway, we'll see, see you on the road. Mr. Tony T literally just pulled up into Blenheim Palace. Um, we got here, we thought we were ahead of all the cars by tracking the app, but um, it looks like we, uh, we're a little bit behind. But so is Tom, TGE, so what are you doing? You're in an F12, come on. 
Um, so yeah, absolutely stunning. Weather's all right. Freezing cold with the roof down. You're freezing. absolutely freezing. freezing. She's got the Bridget Jones hair going on. Um, so yeah, it's just so much fun. Really, really good fun. Um, tearing up the roads with just surrounded by cars everyone sort of ends up in like little blocks and pods so there's like eight to ten cars um all revving loads of pops and bangs um it's just so much fun there's so much energy and you know everyone on this is just really really decent people as well so it's, it couldn't be any more fun and um just looking looking forward to the next bit really but yeah this is it some beautiful cars so I'm gonna shut up and uh, just throw in some footage and walk around some of these cars for you guys um, and just enjoy it. and then we're uh, doing the proper drive from here all the way up to Edinburgh um, we're actually staying in the Balmoral Hotel um, which is where the event is as well the Gatsby party so really looking forward to that I've got my taps ready I'm gonna look like James Bond but nowhere near as good looking anyway let's enjoy the cars Okay, so the GT3 RS and the GT3 are one of my favourite cars, so I'm hoping um, if we're doing Mobile next year, which I think we probably will be, especially the UK one, maybe the European one, um, it might be in something a little bit more larry and loud like this. Um, but we'll see. I'm looking at 911 turbos as well, so I think as far as cars go, um, they're quite a good all-rounder. I do need to drive it nearly every other day, so something like this is probably not the best um, for that, but we'll see. Anyways, cheers. That, that is sick. I don't envy driving all the way to Edinburgh in it, but sick. literally just stopping at the services for a little break um, coffee and Red Bull need the toilet quite a lot and it's a long way we're about 200 miles off now um, so yeah all the cars are parked up um, got this beautiful GT3 GT2 RS uh, GT3 RS sorry I'm a little bit tired and this is a GT4 um, but yeah little boxes keeping up well sick car here as well so yeah we're gonna get back on the road now we've got some friends at the next services we're gonna go and try and uh, try and catch up with them and um, that's it really how are you finding it bubble tired, tired. Want to you want to go to sleep good luck yeah got to keep an eye out for the, the, the police and things like that as well so. it's um, knackering but really really good fun so enjoying it you enjoy it Glad we're doing it and um, that's it really. Back in the car, back on the road.
we're currently on a proper, proper epic driving road um, through Scotland. Uh, we're not far off Edinburgh now, I'm just following an S63 AMG, our friends from Austria. Um, shout out to you guys if you watch this. Uh, they're up ahead, um, proper little windy B road uh, that we're just hammering through at the moment. It is beautiful driving and I was just saying off camera, I'm genuinely so happy right now. Look at that, I mean, look at it. Also, uh, apologies if the uh, camera's a little bit shaky. This road undulates all over the place. Um, and uh, there's no stabilizer. The stabilizer is uh, Annabelle. So, not the best. Anyway, we're gonna crack on on this road, get into Edinburgh, and uh, we'll see you guys at the finish line. This van has basically been filled with beers for the entire journey, so they're ready and well prepared. This is the car. This is the Austrians. They drive like crazy, but they know what they're doing. Sick car. This thing is so loud. Cool. So we made it to the finish line finally after, I don't know, like four or five hours drive. So I'm just going to walk through all the cars and then um, well owned beer is definitely needed. <laughs> oh, it's just right here. So. Ah, Hello. It's so true. It's alright, I'll just cut all this into, <laughs> so, into something. <laughs> So tired. Four, uh, four, four, five, four. We've made it to the hotel, and I think it's safe to say we're both absolutely shattered. Um, yeah, so I think we're gonna have a, a bath and, and get sorted, um, have a potential little nap, and um, that's it really. Get our get our uh, 1920s outfits on. Me is just a normal touch, but Annabelle's got something sick. Um, and then we're going around for the, uh, the Great Gatsby party. So um, yeah, absolutely amazing day so far. Shattering, but so much fun. And uh, I can't wait for it to continue, to be honest, but I definitely need to freshen up. I'm just, not, not very, uh, I don't know, I'm very tired. Anyway, we'll see you guys later for the party.
this is the finish line. Um, everyone's driving away now uh, from the finish line, so uh, we've got to get going. We've only got to drive around the corner um, to another hotel, so we're staying up here but uh, absolutely crazy. So uh, that's it really. We've got TGE and our Archie coming down the uh, coming down the way now, so absolutely chaotic. So we'll get going. Uh, drive the last bits through Edinburgh. And uh, that'll be it really. Just absolutely chaotic. So, see you guys in the car. This is it, end of the line. So, taking off down the uh, the finish line. Everyone's revving the sh** out of their engines because we've been told we're allowed to now. Um, that's it really. I don't know what happens from here, but we'll see. Cool, so all of the cars now are off the finish line. Um, on the app I've checked, there's a few people going in a million different directions. Um, some back to London, some up north. Um, our Austrian friends who are continuing to drive, I think, to Amsterdam uh, and then through a few other Euro European countries before heading back home as well. So they're, they're sort of doing their own little uh, rally, keeping the stickers on, which is pretty cool. Um, that's it really. This is just a checkout video. We've checked into uh, another hotel uh, around the corner. Cars in the car park below uh, alongside a F430 um, who uh, I think is staying here as well for one more night. Just didn't really want to do that drive again straight away today. Thought we have a, a bit of uh, alone time um, which is exactly what we're going to do. So I've got all of my uh, memory cards and things like that and laptop ready to uh, start putting together a video for this. It will be an absolutely chaotic video. I'm really, really looking forward to, to sending this one out. I think it's the, the best one I, I should have done. The content's there anyway, so if it's bad, that's down to me. Um, that's it really, absolutely amazing. I, I would say thanks to John Mobble and TGTV for organising this. Um, it's the first time doing it and I think they absolutely nailed it, so yeah. Here's the next one. Hopefully I'll be driving something a bit faster that can keep up with some of these cars. Um, that's it really, that's all I've got to say. Really, really good weekend. We've had so much fun. You've had a good time, haven't you? Yeah. Yes, yeah? So much fun. Yeah, so much fun. But as you can tell, I think we're, we're both pretty drained. So I think we need some downtime, alone time, and um, got a, a nice restaurant book for this evening as well. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. So, I'm Mr. Tony T. Please like, do subscribe. There's a lot more coming to this channel, a lot more content. Um, I hope you enjoy it.